Welcome students. This is small widget tutorial on thermodynamics. First point, the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics is a statement of law of conservation of energy and it is stated as the energy put into the system equals the sum of the work of the done by the system and the change in internal energy of the system. So, if Q is the energy put in the system, delta U is the change in internal energy and W is the work done by the system then Q is equal to delta U plus W. Here Q and W has different sign as per the properties. Q is positive when the energy is given to the system. Q is negative when the energy is taken out from the system. W work done is positive if it is done by the system. W is negative if it is done on the system. This important convention need to be remembered by solving the law of thermodynamic problems. Now let us take a look at some of the processes isothermal process. Here iso means same and thermo means temperature. So basically it's a process where temperature remains constant. Since temperature remains constant from PV is equal to NRT, the right part NRT remains constant so we can say that in the process PV remains constant. So pressure is inversely proportional to volume. If pressure is increased, volume will decrease. If volume is increased, pressure will decrease. Now, since the temperature remains constant and internal energy depends on temperature, so the internal energy change is zero in the process. Now, law of conservation of energy states that delta Q is equal to delta W plus delta U. Since delta U is zero, we can see that delta Q is equal to delta W. The graph of isothermal process with respect to PV is shown below. So with higher temperatures, it moves above. Now the second process is adiabatic process. Adiabatic process is a process where no heat enters or leaves the system. Basically in this system, delta Q is zero because there is no provision of heat leaving the system and there is no provision of heat given to the system. So from law of thermodynamics, we know that delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W since delta Q is zero, we can say that delta U is equal to minus delta V, delta W. Now if delta W is greater than zero, delta U would be less than zero. That is, if work is done by a system, the internal energy of the system would decrease and temperature of the system would decrease. If his work is done on the system, the internal energy of the system would increase and the temperature of the system would increase. The graph of PV for the adiabatic process is shown below. For more tips and study material, please visit our website physicsatlas.com.